Hi folks, Ergout here. Slate Magazine has an article about new scientific research that's been done on obesity. I'll put a link up to the right of the video so you can find the article and have a look. In a nutshell, scientists at the University of Alabama at Birmingham have offered some plausible explanations for the increase in obesity in the United States. When I say plausible, what I mean is that there is science to support each explanation, but that it has not been determined how much obesity in Americans is actually affected by these explanations. Slate highlights five of the explanations examined by scientists, so I'll go down the list of these five. The first plausible explanation for obesity on their list is inadequate sleep. I previously mentioned this factor in one of my earlier healthy eating videos, so this one isn't a surprise. But the scientists in the study have put some numbers together for us. Eighty years ago, adults slept an average of nearly nine hours each night. Now the average is under seven hours. The authors go on to say that in animal studies, sleep-deprived animals eat excessively, and in humans, sleep deprivation produces increased appetite and obesity. The authors go on to explain the hormonal mechanisms that are suspected of producing this effect. I won't go into those mechanisms. It's enough for our purposes to know that yes, sleep deprivation really is a contributing factor to obesity. A second explanation offered by the scientists was chemical contamination. We're increasingly exposed to a large array of chemicals that can accumulate in body tissues and which may interfere with hormones and lead to fat accumulation. Especially dangerous are chemicals from plastics and industrial processes which mimic or block male and female sex hormones, either one of which can lead to increased fat. Several specific chemicals and hormonal mechanisms are known to science which produce this effect. So it's not just speculation. But the degree to which chemical contamination is responsible for obesity is not known. A third plausible explanation for increased obesity is increased heating and air conditioning. When your body is cold or hot, your body expends calories to maintain a normal body temperature. In a controlled temperature environment, those calories aren't expended. This may be especially problematic in summer because being hot tends to reduce appetite. You might want to widen the range of temperatures you permit in your house with a lower thermostat setting in winter and a higher one in summer. Or you could give up air conditioning altogether. I live in a southern state in the United States and I don't use air conditioning at all. A fourth explanation is reduced smoking in our society. It turns out that smoking kills appetite. So it's possible, scientists say, that reduced smoking may contribute to weight gain in the population. But before you rush out to buy some cigarettes, remind yourself, cigarettes are bad for your health and life expectancy. A fifth explanation is that some prescription medications that have gained widespread use in the United States are known to produce weight gain. This is certainly true of one of the medications my doctor prescribed for me, a drug called Avandia. When I first started taking that drug, my weight zoomed from 205 pounds to 250 pounds. And it's been a real struggle taking off weight while taking this drug. Other drugs known to produce weight gain include many drugs used to treat mental illness and depression, hormone medications such as birth control pills, and blood pressure medications. 
if you need these drugs, then you have to take them. Just be aware of the drugs you're taking and their side effects. Read the accompanying drug information. If your drug produces weight gain, you may have to do what I've done, which is to be extra careful about what you eat. Did you happen to notice anything interesting about this list of explanations for increased obesity? Not one of these explanations involves laziness or poor willpower. As science improves its understanding of this disease, a lot of old stereotypes are falling by the wayside. Obesity is far, far more complex than most people assume. I've been saying all along that obesity is a complex disease. It's not a simple matter of lacking willpower. And some of the things that make us fat are things over which we have very little control. But we do have control over what we eat. And I'm convinced that if you eat only healthy food, you'll come out ahead. Thank you for watching.